Good evening and welcome to Thursday Evening Evening Prayer at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. We're glad to have you join us this evening. Our evening prayer will be guided by the Mission St. Clair app. You can get that either through the App Store on your phone or device, or actually you can go on the web as well to www.missionstclare.com. And it is a free app. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps you follow along with us on evening prayer in each one of the sections that we're doing. You are more than welcome to join us by using the Book of Common Prayer because it follows the same routine, although it does go back and forth a bit. Our prayer, uh, our psalms this evening will be Psalms number 66 and 67, which can also be found in the Book of Common Prayer. But we are glad that you're with us this evening. We ask, as always, that if you are here with us to leave some sort of a reaction or comment or something to let us know you're on and to let us know you're with us because we love to have you with us and love to pray for you being a part of our faith community. But let us now begin with Thursday evening prayer. Let us pray. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will, and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join us now as we say together the Phosphoron, the O Gracious Light, which can also be found in your Book of Common Prayer. O Gracious Light, Pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalm 66 Be joyful in God, all you lands. Sing the glory of his name. Sing the glory of his praise. Say to God how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great strength, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth have done have bows down before you. Sing to you, sings out your name. Come now and see the works of God, how wonderful he is in his doing toward all people. He turned the sea into dry land, and so that they went through the water on foot, and there we rejoiced in him. In his might he rules forever. His eyes keep watch over the nations. Let no rebel rise up against him. Bless our God, you peoples. Make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who holds our souls in life and will not allow our feet to slip? For you, O God, have proved us. You have tried us just as silver is tried. You brought us into the snare. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. 
You let enemies ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us out into a place of refreshment. I will enter your house with burnt offerings and will pay you my vows, which I promised with my lips and spoke with my mouth when I was in trouble. I will offer you sacrifices of fat beasts with the smoke of rams. I will give you oxen and goats. Come and listen, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for me. I called out to him with my mouth, and his praise was on my tongue. If I had found evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God who has not rejo rejected my prayer, nor withheld his love from me. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon <coughs> earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has brought forth her increase. May God, our own God, give us his blessing. May God give us his blessing and may all the ends of the earth stand in awe of him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening is from the Gospel of Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 69 through 75. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came to him and said, You also were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before all of them, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. When he went out to the porch, another servant girl saw him and said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again he denied it with an oath, I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you are also one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to curse, and he swore an oath, I do not know the man. At that moment, the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now say together the song of Mary, the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us now reaffirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed, which can also be found on page 96 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. 
He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us now say together the, uh, the traditional version of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be glory, may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that way we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, you know our necessities before we ask and our ignorance in asking. Have compassion on our weakness and mercifully give us those things that which for our unworthiness we dare not and for our blindness we cannot ask. Through the worthiness of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work, or watch, or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, Shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. This evening in the World Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the people of Venezuela. In the Ecumenical Cycle of Prayer, we pray for our sisters and brothers, members of the Uniting Reformed Church in Southern Africa. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us. Your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. Lifting up especially to you all of the medical professionals and personnel who are working very hard to keep us safe from the coronavirus, most especially those who are connected to St. Mary's, Nancy, Wendy, Carol, Betsy, and Claire. We also ask your blessing on all of the military, National Guard, police, firefighters, and EMT, all of those who are keeping us safe in this tumultuous time. Gracious God, we lift them up to your care and guidance. We thank you for those who have survived the coronavirus, and we ask you to be with those who are currently afflicted, especially Susan, Sarah, and Austin. 
Gracious God, we ask for continued blessings on St. Mary's Episcopal Church. And St. James House of Prayer. We ask your prayers for Sue and Kelly, David and Becky, Mike, Laura and, Lauren and Alexa, and for Enid and Jan. For Casey and Crawford. For Bob and Dee. For Kevin and Cindy. For Bob and Patty. For Haley, Morgan, and Emma. And for Lisa. Gracious God, we also lift up to you all of those on our parish prayer list, especially those with urgent need, praying this night, especially for Karen and Bob, who are in the hospital and undergoing tough times. We ask the healing power of your Holy Spirit be with them. We also pray for those that have other urgent needs, especially Dara, Alyssa, Fred, Jean, Jerry and Diane, Leon and Betty, Danny Ward and family, Ansley, Karen P, Carol, Father Jim, Lee, Ray, Wade, Glenn, Helen, John, Jim and Mimi, Perry, and Sue. Are there others? Look with mercy, O oh God, our Father, on all persons who have become ill, weak, distressed, or isolated. Provide for them homes of dignity and peace. Give them understanding, helpers, and the willingness to accept help, and increase their faith and their assurance of your love. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. O oh God, whose fatherly care reaches to the uttermost parts of the earth, we humbly beseech you graciously to behold and bless whom we love, now absent from us. Defend them from all dangers of soul and body, and grant that both they and we, drawing nearer to you, may be bound together by your love and the communion of your Holy Spirit, and in the fellowship of your saints, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated unto you. Then use us, we pray as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us raise our voices in thanksgiving this evening by saying together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love, in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit 
be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this evening and forevermore. Amen. Amen. We thank you for joining us this Thursday evening for Thursday evening prayer with St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City. We invite you to join us on Sunday morning at 9 o'clock for our principal service of worship that will be live streamed on Facebook Live just as these services are. And so we invite you to join us for that at 9 o'clock on Sunday morning. For those of you out there, we ask you to take care, be healthy, stay at home as you need be, protect yourself and others, and God bless. Good night.